Have you ever wondered why some nations tip the scales more than others when it comes to obesity rates? It's a weighty question indeed. We're in the midst of a global obesity crisis, with the numbers swelling each year. Now let's shift our focus from the worldwide lens to a more zoomed-in perspective. Picture a country, which, despite its size, holds the dubious honor of having the highest obesity rate. A place where the scales groan under the weight of an issue larger than the individuals it affects. Why is this so, you might ask? Well, the roots of obesity are often tangled and deep-seated. It's a complex blend of diet, lifestyle, and healthcare, each factor feeding into the other, creating a vicious cycle that's hard to break. So, buckle up as we delve into the nuances of this critical issue. Today, we dive into the dark reality of the world's fattest country. The country with the dubious honor of being the fattest in the world is Nauru. This tiny island nation in the South Pacific, often overlooked in global conversations, leads the world with the highest obesity rate. Nauru, with a population of just over 10,000, is a speck on the world map, but a giant in the obesity charts. Its inhabitants, the Nauruans, have a unique culture and history, but they also have a weight problem. Nearly three-quarters of the adult population are classified as obese, making Nauru the reigning heavyweight champion of the world. This is not a title any nation would wish to hold, but it's a reality for Nauru. However, this is not just about numbers and statistics. It's about the lives of the people who call Nauru home. It's about the health crisis they face every day. But what has led this nation to such a weighty crisis? A significant factor contributing to this obesity epidemic is diet. Now let's delve a bit deeper into this aspect. The typical diet in this country is a calorific concoction of foods that are high in fats, sugars, and carbohydrates. Imagine a plate filled with fried foods, sugary drinks, and high-carb snacks. While these might seem like comfort foods, they're actually comfort foes. The high fat content in fried foods is not only unhealthy but also contributes to weight gain. Trans fats in particular found in many processed and fried foods are notorious for piling on the pounds while also increasing the risk of heart disease. Then there's sugar, a sweet enemy in disguise. Many of us have a sweet tooth but the reality is, consuming high amounts of sugar leads to a surge in insulin levels, causing the body to store more fat. Not to mention it's often hidden in countless processed foods from bread to pasta sauces, making it all too easy to consume more than we realize. Carbohydrates, especially the refined kind, are another major player in this diet dilemma. White bread, pasta and rice are staples in many households. However, these foods cause a rapid rise in blood sugar, leading to increased hunger and overeating. Now consider this type of diet consumed day in, day out. The body becomes a storage unit for excess fat, leading to weight gain and eventually, obesity. It's a vicious cycle, with each unhealthy meal contributing to the problem. But as we all know, food is more than just fuel. It's tied to our culture, our emotions and our social lives. That's what makes changing dietary habits such a challenge. It's not simply a matter of willpower but requires a fundamental shift in how we view and interact with food. Clearly diet plays a significant role in this nation's obesity crisis, but it's far from the only factor. We must also consider other elements like lifestyle, genetics and societal influences, all of which we'll explore in the coming scenes. But for now, let's digest this food for thought. Apart from diet, lifestyle is another major contributor to the obesity problem. In the world's heaviest country, the typical lifestyle is a maze of habits and customs that contribute to the obesity crisis. Let's delve into the intricate labyrinth of this lifestyle. Physical activity, or rather the lack of it, stands as a giant wall in the labyrinth. With the advent of technological conveniences and a culture that increasingly values comfort and convenience, the necessity for physical exertion has dwindled. Walking is replaced by driving, stairs by elevators and playgrounds by video games. This lack of physical activity leads to a sedentary lifestyle, another significant factor in the obesity equation. A sedentary lifestyle characterized by prolonged periods of inactivity is not just about being physically inactive. It's a lifestyle that encourages the consumption of fast food and sugary drinks, while discouraging any form of physical exercise. This sedentary behavior coupled with an over-reliance on processed and fast foods forms a perfect recipe for obesity. In addition to these, cultural norms also play a significant role in the obesity labyrinth. In many societies, food is not just a means of sustenance but a way to celebrate, to show love, and to bond. This has led to a culture that encourages overeating, especially during social gatherings and festivities. Furthermore, the unhealthy eating habits that are normalized in this country are alarming. 
It's not uncommon to see people skipping breakfast, binge eating late at night, or consuming large portions of high-calorie foods. These habits, while may seem harmless in isolation when coupled with a lack of physical activity, can significantly contribute to weight gain. In this country, the lifestyle labyrinth is complex and multifaceted, with numerous paths leading to the same weighty problem, obesity. It's a labyrinth that requires a holistic approach to navigate successfully. While diet and lifestyle are significant, healthcare also plays a critical role in this obesity epidemic. This is where we step into the next part of the labyrinth, the healthcare hurdle. The healthcare system of this country is struggling to manage the obesity crisis. The healthcare system has a crucial role to play in the management of obesity. It is not just about treating the condition, but also about preventing it. Prevention is always better than cure, they say, and it couldn't be more true in this case. However, the system seems to be overwhelmed by the magnitude of the problem. Efforts towards prevention include public health initiatives aimed at promoting a healthy lifestyle and diet. These efforts are crucial to preventing obesity from taking root. However, they often fall short due to a lack of resources and funding. The message of healthy living is drowned out by the noise of fast food advertisements and the allure of convenience. When it comes to treatment, the situation is no better. The healthcare system is ill-equipped to handle the sheer number of patients requiring treatment for obesity and its associated health issues. The available treatment options, such as bariatric surgery and weight loss medications, are often out of reach for many due to their high costs. Moreover, obesity is not just a physical health issue. It's also a mental health issue. Many people struggling with their weight also battle with depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. Unfortunately, mental health services are often overlooked in the fight against obesity, further exacerbating the problem. The system is also burdened by the costs associated with obesity. Treating obesity and related diseases like diabetes, heart disease and certain types of cancer is expensive. This places a huge financial strain on the healthcare system, one that it can ill afford. Public health initiatives, while well-intentioned, often lack the necessary funding and support to make a significant impact. There's a need for more investment in these initiatives and a shift in focus from treatment to prevention. In essence, the healthcare system is caught in a vicious cycle. It is struggling to treat the current generation of obese patients while also failing to prevent the next generation from falling into the same trap. As we can see, the obesity crisis in this country is a complex issue with multiple contributing factors. So what have we learned from this deep dive into the world's fattest country? We've journeyed through a landscape where the scale of the obesity crisis is as vast as it is complex. Our exploration has revealed that diet, lifestyle and healthcare all play pivotal roles in this escalating issue. Let's start with diet. The abundance of processed foods packed with sugars and unhealthy fats have proven to be a significant contributor to the obesity crisis. The convenience of these ready-to-eat meals coupled with their addictive taste has led many down the path of weight gain and health complications. Next, we looked at lifestyle. The sedentary habits that have become commonplace in today's society are doing us no favors. The lack of physical activity, paired with an increase in screen time, has created a perfect storm for weight gain. Without regular exercise to burn off those excess calories, they accumulate in the body, leading to obesity. Then we delved into the healthcare system. Despite the growing number of overweight and obese individuals, many healthcare systems around the globe struggle to provide adequate support and treatment. This deficiency in healthcare not only perpetuates the problem but also makes it increasingly difficult for those affected to seek help and initiate change. These three elements, diet, lifestyle and healthcare, intertwine, creating a multifaceted issue that requires a similarly multifaceted response. Solutions must address all three components, promoting healthier eating habits, encouraging physical activity, and improving healthcare support for those struggling with weight issues. This is no small task, but it's a necessary one if we hope to turn the tide on obesity. While the situation may seem bleak, understanding these factors is the first step towards finding solutions. The fight against obesity continues and every step taken is a step closer to a healthier world. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.